I hope you can hear me properly. We are ready to start now with the presentation of the Master in Wine Culture and Communication. Thank you very much for being here today. I invite you to ask your question by typing them into the chat line so I can read them at the end of uh, the presentation. And on the other side, uh, you can type them whenever you want so you don't forget what you want to ask uh, before asking it, actually. Master in Wine Culture and Communication is a product that uh, in Polensum we have designed and we uh, offer our students in collaboration with two entities that are very important to all of us. The Bank of Wine that is uh, literally uh, the foundation of the university because it's, uh, in the, it's underground under the university headquarters and slow food. Uh, the association that founded, founded the university and is involved in many projects to protect and uh, make available the knowledge about food all around the world. This product uh, is uh, one uh, of the few in the university that offers two different streams. Actually, we do that also in our postgraduate course. And the two streams of uh, the Master in Wine Culture and Communication are stream one, languages and perception, and stream two, marketing and strategy. And uh, <clears throat> this means that each student during the first months of the course have the opportunity to choose what stream they prefer and, uh, to, and therefore to design a bit their program uh, as well as every student can do by deciding together with the professors and the lecturers of the Bank of Wine, a 10% of the total amount of ECTS that uh, are taught in, uh, with the topics about the topics that are the most relevant for the students and are shaped according to the preferences of the students. The objective of the course is to create good wine tellers, so people that are able to tell the story, and not just the story, but everything about wine, with the role of wine ambassadors, a good capacity of creating storytelling, and a very solid knowledge about agricultural, analogical, environmental, and cultural complexity behind wine. The second objective is to provide the knowledge and competencies that go from grape by cultivation to wine culture and wine making professional in order to allow the student to uh, interpret his role or her role in the future professional world uh, with great skills to enter the strategies, the strategies and the marketing of wine, or on the other side, to be good interpreters of the languages and the perception of wine with the, the goal of the creativity in the act of knowing in, uh, knowing the wine, but also to let it know by the customers and the passionate people all around the world. The master will start next year in February, and of course, uh, we have prepared it uh, with all the measures in order to ease the problems that are a consequence of the COVID-19. So we will have, at least for the first months, some didactic activities that will be blended. This particularly because we expect the situation to improve due to the vaccines, but for the first months, lecturers from other countries will be uh, impeded to come to Polenzo, and therefore we will be forced to have some classes taught online. In order to do it with the best results, we record every class, we stream every class so the students can attend them from even if they want from abroad, then we record every class and uh, the recordings remain available for, the all, for all the length of the course. 
So each student do not have to come to Polenzo if they don't, if they can, or uh, if they do not feel comfortable in traveling, with traveling in that particular moment, something that with the pandemic we have seen many times. Therefore, our students will have the opportunity to participate in every activity live in Polenzo or to melt also according to an individual preference the live activity in Polenzo with the activity uh, abroad, the activity online, uh, interacting thanks to technology with the professors and the lecturers of the university. The platform that we will be using in order to allow all of this is Blackboard, the same platform we are using now. The course is divided in modules. The first module is devoted, is the first part of the first module, that is wine culture, is devoted to the making of wine. So we have viticulture, analogy, basics of tasting techniques, entomology, pruning and soil management, biodynamic viticulture, and sensory analysis of wine. As you can see, agrarian topics, technological topics, and hard science topics. In this first part of the course, during which you are going to meet these guys from the top on the left, uh, Maurizio Gili, our professor of viticulture, in the middle, to at the top, uh, uh, Ilaria Pertot, that teaches entomology and protection of the vineyards. Uh, at the lower level, from left, Ulrich Fischer, that teaches pruning from Germany. In the middle, Luisa Torri, our director of research and director of the sensory lab. On the right, Stefano Pescarmona, who teaches biodynamic viticulture. In the second part of the same module, we focus on wine, but from a different perspective, from the perspective of history, philosophy, anthropology, uh, history of art, and wine law. That is actually my topic, for I am one of the two lawyers that work at the University of Gastronomic Sciences. These are some of the guys you're going to meet in the second part of the first module. Uh, at the top on the left, you see Michele Fontefrancesco, our anthropologist, Dan, uh, Ian Tattersall, and at the lower level, Bob Desal, who are two professors of the Museum of Natural History in New York that have released a few years ago the Natural History of Wine, and every year come to teach here in Polenzo. The lower level on the right, you see Armando Castagno that teaches history of art and wine. You may be asking yourself why history of art and wine, but actually this is one of the things we are more proud about. Because um, we designed this course with Armando. Armando is a, a trained lawyer, but also a graduate in history of art and a great expert of wines, in particular of Burgundy, is a Chevalier du Tastevin for Burgundy. Well, uh, we decided to focus this course on the adjectives of wine that uh, are common to wine and art. Think about, think about powerful, refined, elegant, subtle, and so on. These adjectives that are used for wine perfectly adapt to many aspects of art and the history of art. So uh, his classes are kind of a trip between the history of art that represent that particular adjective, uh, kind of a quintessence of this adjective, like for instance, elegance, and think of Raphael, or think of Donatello, to come to the wine at the end of the classes with tasting of wines that have in their elegance the peculiar feature that characterizes them. Here, here is one of uh, the classes that we hold at, um, at the bank of wine in the special tasting room that have been created there. The people you see in this picture actually are not actors. They are students of the very first edition of the master six years ago. Uh, the classes in the Bank of Wine are many 
during the year. Not less than 20, but more likely between 20 and 30 every year are the classes that we held there. Then we have the streams. The first stream is wine languages and creativity and involve wine, brain and languages, aesthetics of wine, epistemology and wine writing. So the topics that are um, under the responsibility of Professor Nicola Perullo that you see here and is also the co-convener of this master, today he could not be with us, but he salutes you all. Uh, and is a philosopher and the author of the famous book Epistemology, recently released in English too for um, the Yale University Press in America. Close to him is Richard Baudin, that is uh, a lecturer of our university, British but living in Italy for the last 10 years, is an expert in wine and critics. Lower to them, Gianpaolo Gravina, philosopher from Rome, teaching aesthetics of wine, and close to him, Emanuele Giannone, that is a, an amazing lecturer, an engineer with seven languages spoken, that uh, trains our students with the classes devoted to wine writing. Then we have the second stream, that is the stream I take care in particular of, it is the stream in wine marketing and strategy. We have classes about uh, competitive strategy and entrepreneurship, wine industry marketing, wine numbers, sociology of food and wine consumption. Well, we are very uh, pleased to welcome into these classes professors from different universities and professionals that uh, are important in the world of wine and have been for the last years. Here you see Roberta Sassatelli, here at the top, that teaches sociology of wine consumption, and Swafka Scarso from Hungary, that teaches wine marketing, and has released a few years ago a very successful handbook about wine marketing. Lower to them, Cinzia Parolini and Carmine Garcia, both professors of strategy and uh, management in the University of Modena and Reggio Emilia, Cinzia Parolini, and in the University of Italian Switzerland, Carmine Garcia, former professor of the University of Modena. Then I told you we have the classes with the tastings that are up to 25 every year, plus those that, that, that the students ask to organize. And we are very happy when we can design and plan some didactic activity with our students. They take a place at the bank of wine, they involve producers, but also winemakers, journalists, influencers. Therefore, a very uh, diverse activity that is uh, normally really appreciated by students that have more or less every week a tasting activity at the Bank of Wine. The largest concentration of hands-on activity is not in the Bank of Wine, is during the study trips. Every year we plan not less than three study trips, and this is also for the next Wine Culture and Communication Master. Normally, we have a study trip in an Italian wine region, another one in a European wine region, and a third one outside the EU borders. Of course, next year we will not be already out of the pandemic. Therefore, uh, we are co uh, currently planning two trips in Italy and a third trip in Europe in order to skip the problems with quarantine and the problems with the uh, planes that do not fly yet regularly everywhere in the world. Of course, if the situation would improve steadily, we would be absolutely happy to modify the program and implement the trips uh, according to the original standard. That is, as I told you, one in Italy, one in Europe, and the third outside the European Union. The study trips are not holidays, the study trips are an occasion to organize meetings, not less than 40 meetings during the three study trips, not less than 150 hours of didactic activities, 
maybe in a vineyard, maybe in a cellar, maybe in a museum of wine, but always we have didactic activities during the study trips. So they are very intense activity. They are very intense days of, uh, of meeting and encounters with the producers and areas that really shape your knowledge and your passion about wine, but also provide you with a lot of contacts for your future activity that maybe is in the procurement or uh, in the communication of wine. And those addresses, those emails, those phone numbers you are able to collect during the study trips will be great for you in order to front the challenges of your future professional activity. But to enter your future professional activity, the first step is to design your internship. All of our students are invited to uh, plan an internship that maybe is in a cellar, in a winemaking company, or is at a company that uh, sells wine or communicates wines, or is in a body that uh, makes uh, political and policy related activities about wine. I, for instance, one of the associations of producers that work in Italy on wine. We call them consortia, using an, a, a, an old Latin word. Where, how do you select what kind of internship you can have? How do you design your internship? You give a shape to your internship. Well, the, the way to do it is our special feature. You will meet our career center that is made of four people, not less than three times during the months you will be spending in Polenzo. During these three meetings, you will go to refine every time a bit more your uh, final goal with relation, with, with regard to the internship. Because maybe that when you arrive, you have an idea, but then after a few classes, you shift from that idea to another one. And at the end of the classes, you have a third idea again. This is absolutely normal because we expect you to come not already perfectly informed about all the possibilities and day by day understanding what are all the possibilities that you have. Well, during these three meetings, you refine your expectations, you're willing to go on an internship and your goals to relate with the internship. And at the end of the classes, you will have selected the company, addressed your request for an internship to the company, always counting on the help uh, of the career center that will ease the problems that will be on your side in order to uh, solve the bureaucratic problems and in case you need it also uh, to enter in contact, to start a contact with the company that you will be selecting and choosing for your internship. At the end of the path, uh, you will become a gastronome with a peculiar speci specialization into the wine industry that will provide you with the tools to become one of these profiles, very likely, or on the other side, a new profile that we have not yet already recorded, but uh, we will be absolutely happy to start with your personal experience. We, uh, all the profiles you see in this chart are not general profiles. These are profiles that our former students currently implement. Wine market analyst, junior export manager, international sales manager, as well as export area manager or brand ambassador, social media expert and influencer, junior marketing manager, hospitality and public relations, national sales manager, media content analyst. So as you can see, we go from activities that are very related to production and trade to activities that are more related to communication. And that's absolutely normal. It depends also on the, on the kind of path you have had before coming to Polenzo.
Okay, so if you are an engineer and you want to change your life, maybe that your knowledge about uh, um, new technologies becomes the basis for your future profession. In the case of uh, Emmanuel Trono, our former student that is known on Instagram as Eno Blogger, he had uh, a previous bachelor in, in uh, management. Then he came in Polenzo to improve his knowledge about wine and is now an influencer working with many companies to communicate and promote their products in the world of wine. Well, the, the basic information that you still may be in need of today. The starting date has been uh, shifted from January to February 17, and this is why currently the ranking list has not yet been released. We are uh, we absolutely welcome late applications, and we are receiving some late applications in these days. Therefore, if you are interested in this program, do not hesitate in asking information. Do not hesitate to submit your application because we are absolutely happy to evaluate them. This is a program with rolling admissions. Therefore, nothing strange. We still have some places and we will be pleased to evaluate your demand and to admit you if you have the required, um, the required um, basis to be admitted to this course. The cost of the whole course is um, 16,500 euros, 16,500 euros, and there are two kinds of help under the financial point of view. The first is that we have one scholarship for this master two. Therefore, you can apply for the scholarship as well. And depending on the mark you get uh, in order to be admitted and the wealth uh, of yourself and your family in your country, you can be uh, ranked in the list for the scholarship. And if you are admitted and at the top of this list, you can get a full scholarship. That means the whole fee is uh, paid by the university. The second kind of financial help is provided by banks that are related to the university and count on the guarantee of the university if you want to get a loan in order to pay for your fee and your costs related with the course in Polenzo. This is a great help and also a way to invest on yourself and your future. You get the loan you complete the course and one year after the end of the master, you start reimbursing the loan uh, in, at the rate you can decide together with the bank. This kind of financial help is available for students from the European Union and from the United States of America. Unfortunately, this kind of conventions do not work with all the countries' students. And uh, that's a pity under our point of view, but unfortunately, it is not in our, in our means to change this on our side. Well, uh, final picture with the class of the first year of this master, attending a presentation with uh, one of the two editors of the Slow Wine Guide, Fabio Giavedoni, and a producer from Friuli Venezia Giulia, that uh, is the region Fabio comes from and wanted to accompany the producer that evening in order to allow the students to start their uh, path in Polenzo with a tasting involving, involving the, uh, the wines of the regions he comes from. Well, I'm very happy to answer all your questions. From now on, if you want to type them or if you want to, to try telling them, you uh, switching on your microphone, I think we can uh, absolutely uh, listen to your questions and I will be pleased to try to answer them. Let's see if someone has already typed. Yes, Doriana has typed her. Uh, email address 
in, uh, in the chat, and I'm pleased to do the same. So do not hesitate to send us emails, in particular, if you want to ask clarifications on the personal point of view, that maybe you are not comfortable in asking in front of the whole class. You are very welcome if you decide to submit your questions with an email or um, appointing, arranging a date for a call using Google Meet or Zoom with one of us in, in order to get further clarifications. So, who does break the ice? Jeff Firwell, Jeff uh, is asking, any changes foreseen for the 2022 class? Well, uh, the, the master wine starting in January, hopefully 2022, will be over the pandemic, and therefore we expect to have it completely according to the original standard. Because uh, by the end of 2021, we expect that vaccination goes around, uh, all, goes on all around the world, and therefore we will be free to travel and uh, have a, a regular development of the course in 2022. Gabriel, uh, well, I have not the list uh, under my fingers in this moment, but I think that we are at about 15 people. Thank you for asking. Gabriel is asking how many people have been admitted for the forthcoming session already. We must already also say that uh, there are people that are admitted and then there are people that actually, actually subscribe, you know, because there, it can also be that someone is admitted and then for personal reasons has to change has to change uh, the programs and uh, therefore uh, therefore uh, cannot come. So the admissions are one thing, the actual subscription are a bit, may be a bit different, but normally there is not a big difference in this course. Because people that want to come to the Master in Wine Culture and Communication are normally very determined. Questions? Oh, Davide, thank you for asking. Yes, all the master courses in Polenzo are one year long. Therefore, if we start in February, we end in February the year after, okay? And that's for all the courses. Our master courses are normally uh, granted 90 ECTS, when uh, usually annual courses in Italy are worth 60 ECTS. We teach more classes, we offer more didactic activities uh, because we, we have that standard and we started according to that standard more than 10 years ago. Um, but the length of the course is always 12 months. That means normally eight to nine months of classes included the study trips that are during these eight, nine months, and then two, three months for the internship and the writing of the final thesis. Ah, Gabriel, thank you for asking. No, the internship will be from, the, uh, from December 2021 to February 2022. So across the time of Christmas. It is a good time for the internship at the end of the day. Uh, actually, you will be able to participate in the preparation of the big fairs that are normally at the end of the winter, in March and in April. And on the other side, you will be involved in the work, if you, are, if you go on a cellar, for instance, you will be involved in the work that prepares Christmas. Of course, all of you are invited, uh, and we will be pleased to help you, invited in taking place in the harvest that in Piemont takes part from 
takes part from uh, August to October. So using some weekend or the weeks before the starting of the classes, you will be absolutely welcome if you can plan, uh, if you can plan some days harvesting because uh, being involved in the most fatiguing activity of the whole year is important to get in touch with the feeling of producers and the work of it. Any other questions, Guy? Any other question, guys? Sorry for my English. It's, a, it's been a very long and tiring day. I swear, normally it's better. Please take note of our email addresses, okay? Do not miss the occasion to ask what uh, you don't have coming to your mind in this moment, or you simply want to ask privately because of personal reasons. You are absolutely welcome. So, if there are no other questions, I do thank you for your patience waiting for the end of my previous presentation. And uh, I do hope to see you in Polenzo in a future occasion, uh, hopefully for starting this master or for uh, an open day, a physical one, uh, in case you are interested in some other presentation of other products in Polenzo, okay? Really, thank you very much for being with us today. You will find the presentations of this, um, you will find the presentations that you have been attending today, recorded on the site of the university, and, um, and therefore you will be able to listen to them once again, if you want to deepen some, some aspects or to reconsider some aspects of them. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Yanka, as well. And I do hope to look to, to see you very soon. I look forward to see each of you very soon. Thank you very much also on behalf of the pro-rector Nicola Perullo that as I told you could not be with us today and is the other convener of this master. Thank you very much for all your attention and thanks to Doriana and Roberta that did the job under the technical point of view for organizing this presentation. Finally, thank Franca Chiarle as well for her continual work for our further students. The recruitment is the secret of our university. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Bye.